In this little mini series, we're going to talk about linking in um, an architectural project into a, an empty mechanical or electrical MEP file, copy monitoring the um, levels and grids, and then setting up the views based on discipline and using a view template. Really, the kickoff part of linking in a file, copy monitoring, and setting up our electrical, in this case, or mechanical file um, to start to model. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we're going to assume we're starting from blank. We want to start out with the right template file. It's very important that if you plan on doing a mechanical or electrical or lighting, or sorry, electrical or uh, structural or architectural, you start with the right template file because it's predetermined with a bunch of stuff that is pertinent. If you try to do electrical and start from an architectural template, you're going to be swimming upstream an awful lot. It can be done, but you'll have to tweak it um, a lot. So I'm going to start a new project, big blue R, and I'm going to go new, and I'm going to say project. And I'm going to look on my list, and I want a, an electrical template. I don't see one, so I'm going to hit Browse, and it's going to go to where my templates are. So I'm going to go up one to, make, to templates here. You can see where those are located. Okay, And I'm going to go US Metric and Electrical Default right here. Okay, So I'm going to start, again, Mechanical, Plumbing, Structural, Systems, Construction, Okay, which is more architectural and then default. You'll notice there isn't an architectural one. Quite often I use this one. I stay away from the US Canadian one. So construction or default, but to be honest, we all have our own custom template files, but we'll use the out of the box electrical in this case, starts a new project based on electrical, um, the electrical discipline. So opens up a nice clean drawing, nothing in there. OK, and we'll notice that, you know, there's a couple of views and very basic project. So let's go down to the South Elevation Electrical. We can see in this project right now we have a level one, we have a level two, and they're about four meters, you know, 12, 13 feet apart. And we have a lighting set of lighting plans. We have an easy set of power plans based on these levels for elevations, which we can see on our on our plan view. So really nothing in there. If we go to a 3D view, we won't see anything. But it's kind of predetermined um, for electrical. And when we talk about the electrical stuff specifically, we'll get into some of the settings. Um, and you can see down here, it's got the, the view name, doesn't have any uh, template associated to it. But you'll notice that the sub-discipline of lighting is lighting and the discipline is electrical. If I go open up this power plan, double click it, You'll see it's also the discipline of electrical under our browser, but it is set to be a sub-discipline of power. Uh, where is it? I can never find that sub-discipline. And there it is right there. Okay, sub-discipline. So sub-discipline is power. Uh, right here, main discipline is electrical. So we don't have anything in here. We're going to link in the architects file. We're going to copy monitor in the levels and grids so that we can track those main datum objects from the architects file. And then we're going to delete our own uh, levels. And then we are going to um, just have a look at our views and create some new plan views for electrical and lighting. We could also have done the same thing and applied it to mechanical. We're going to use a lighting example in here. So first thing we need to do is uh, link in an architectural file. We're going to use the file that comes installed with Revit under the samples. So we will go to insert and we'll say link Revit. And we're going to go to the um, program data. I believe I have a shortcut over here that I'll go to and then you can I'll show you where it is. Our library two. Samples architectural link. Okay, so that's where that is. Uh, program files, Autodesk, Revit 2017 samples. Okay, that's where it gets installed and this is the file. Architectural link model. Okay, that's it. 
and we're going to say origin to origin and that's it so we link in the architects file it comes in in one big clump and how it views will depend on the discipline of the view revit knows what is a, a mechanical item and what is an architectural item and what is a, a, a electrical item okay so by default it just comes in as one big you know 3d model the lights are actually showing through here because they're electrical um, discipline now the view that we're looking at right here, we're in the power plant. So the power plant is set to be, you know, the discipline of electrical. But if I was to change the discipline of this view right now to be architectural, it's going to show a little bit different because it's it's the same model, but it's it's changed the view discipline. So just be cognizant of that. So we're going to go back and change the view discipline to be electrical, grays out the architectural stuff, whether it's in the model or or not. So we've got our architectural model linked in and we can go to our 3D view and we can have a quick look at that. We're not going to do anything beyond this point. All we're going to do is do a save and we will save this as our uh, lesson two in this case. And all it is is a, uh, an electrical template file linked in a architectural file at origin zero zero.